Before getting underway, I'm going to uh, test to make sure everything's okay with the boat. Motor's okay. Rudder's okay. This test was purely by remote control. There is no computer on board at this point. All I'm doing is trying to test the motor controller and the servo units. While I was at the test location, a flock of birds came in and landed on one of the beaches. I thought it would be interesting to see whether the birds would be scared away by a big orange boat. The answer is apparently not. The tide is going out and with it my boat. At the moment I'm just leaving it to sunbathe in the sun to uh, juice up its cells. Uh, in a few minutes I'm going to bring it back in. Here it is back on land. I'm now going to open it up and have a look inside to see if how much water is invo involved inside. Inside the boat is dry as a bone. Controlling my boat by remote control isn't exactly what I'm uh, intending to, to do. The ultimate objective is obviously to have it automated. So what we're going to do is attach this, which is the fidget servo controller, inside the boat um, and attach it to my PC over here and see if we can't get it controlling the, uh, the servos and the motors. First of all, we're going to... In this demonstration, I show how to take the boat apart, first removing the solar cell. After removing the solar cell, I remove the panel on top of the main electronics package. This reveals the motor controller and the remote control device. The remote control device in this case is removed. And in its place, we put the fidget servo, which will be used by the computer to control the boat. In my first test of the engine, I'm going to run a program on the laptop computer, which will simply rev the engine up and then reduce the revs uh, and then finally stop. I am now going to control my robot using the command system from another computer inside the house. My laptop computer is now running the AMV control program. <laughs> 